January 8th. Jake and I are out here burning piles. Get this one lit. This one lit. Gibbs is over there waiting for me to throw a stick. So that's a nice stick. Got the house right there. We're not very far away. This is just a small residential job. This lot isn't even an acre in size. We got five total piles on this lot, and I think about a half mile down the road we have 15 or so piles on a 15 acre lot. Jake's working on a third pile behind this one, and we'll light the other two quick and then head on down the road. We got Brian hooking up to the Halverson 140 with the Cat 299. He's gonna go split some firewood this morning out back. We just run a small firewood operation cut split operation just to keep one guy busy through the winter so not a high production machine but it works pretty well and you get to sit in a cab all day which isn't bad So these logs are 17 feet long. Um, he has to cut them in half in order for uh, the weight to work out on that tray. Apparently we have a dog fight going on over here too. We hauled all these in with our self loader. Brian's just working his way through this pile. These logs are all 17 foot long when they come in off the self loader. And unfortunately the tray on the firewood processor is a little too short to run a full 17 footer on there. Um, so he has to cut them in half before he can start processing each log. I think in the off season we're going to uh, try and figure out a way to extend that tray a little bit so we can run a full 17 footer and not have to cut them in half. But Brian's ran this machine a good bit, he's figured out how to do it pretty quickly. Like I was saying before, it's, it is tricky in the winter. That tray gets slick. So when you're moving the log back and forth, the log's sliding on the tray. And it throws our measurements off a little bit, but we really just shoot for 16 inches or shorter. Here's our 726 Tiger Cat. Got about 4,500 hours on it. Fecon head deleted. Rocking four P Wag chains on it. Not using it much right now, it's just sitting here at the yard. Got the old loader. We've never even used that thing. That was an impulse. Craigslist by. And we got Big Red, 1976, Peterbilt. 
then trailers and trucks and more trailers and more trucks and that's our shop. This is our yard. Just got the lean-to over there with the implements in it. Got a pallet of parts for our Peterson. Teeth, grates, teeth backers, bolts. Expensive pallet of stuff that's just going to get destroyed. Guys are hooking up a sled trailer to Bill's truck. He's got the new engine on the back. We're headed up north to plow our way in and hopefully get an engine in the loader today. I think there's going to be about three feet of snow. We got to plow out of the way. I'm going to pick up the blower from Cat. Lynn's already up there. Probably struggling to get everything started. It's about minus 20 right now. Down at the shop and I think it's colder up there. So it's going to be a long day of moving snow and starting machines and hopefully getting an engine placed in at least today. That's a wrap for our season up here in North Route. Lynn's done processing. He's just throwing a couple logs in the deck and then we're done. This is our last unit. Snow is about three and a half, four feet deep up here. We could keep going, but it's really not worth it. I got all my firewood orders fulfilled. And our mill's looking pretty good for the springtime. Jake's gonna go plow out. The landing down below. I'm gonna get out of his way, I guess. All we have left to do up here is haul six or seven more loads of firewood and probably an equal amount of saw logs, and then we'll be done. We'll just be plowing and loading for the next week or so. I just finished tagging up my load. Got my Forest Service tag right there. MC for mining claims. 149. That's the last three digits of the load ticket. Well, I'm headed down off the landing. I just have the jigs on the first setting and some air to the trailer brakes. It's not a terribly steep pitch. I've got new tires on this truck and lockers, so I have not been chaining up. We've been getting a little bit of new snow and it's been staying pretty cold. So we don't have much ice on this hill right now. We normally run into trouble when it's warm in the afternoon coming out loaded. We usually end up slicking up the road and then it's hard to get in the next day, but it stayed pretty tacky. We're less than a mile from the landing to the pavement. So I'm not too worried about it. Blue Steel is a 2006 357 feet. Got over a million miles on it. C15 single turbo cat. Truck and pup. This is the real deal for firewood. I won't go back to a long log firewood setup ever. It's convenient. Getting in and out of places. That pup racks on the truck. 
and it's a lot safer from what I've found loading wise. All these logs are 17 feet long, so I can grab them in the middle, spin them around, rather than healing them on the boom. That was always a concern of mine, loading with the long logger. You just got so much going on next to your head, sitting up there 10 feet off the ground, 12 feet off the ground. I think by far this is the most dangerous thing that we run. Essentially a log loader without a cab with a short boom. But for firewood, this is the real, the real deal. It's quick, it's quick to process 17 footers. Everything's the same length. You're not trying to double end shorts in a long load. This truck came out of South Dakota. It had two drop axles on it when I bought it. We took both those off. They don't get us anything extra here and we haul all dry wood. Big Red's got a 215 Grizzly self loader. It's a strong loader. We don't use that truck much for hauling wood anymore. We haul poles with it back to this yard. It's about a 45 minute downhill drive. That's about all we use it for. It's not in terrible shape, it's just old and slow. And That new blue truck over there, the short logger, is just nicer to drive, quicker. Everything about it, but. Big Red, we still use it around the yard a lot. We'll use it to set the gear on this truck. We use it as pretty much a yard crane. And uh, if we have to unload a straight truck in the yard or load a straight truck in the yard, we'll use Big Red. Got the John Deere fired up. We're gonna load our first truck with it since Bill put the engine back in it. About nine degrees out, it fired right up. I'm gonna go check the roads. I might need to plow out another landing. We've only got a couple loads here to haul out. Just to the right of my truck. Lynn had to unbury them the other day. They were under about three feet of snow. Got them out of the snow a bit, so it's a little bit easier for Jason to load. Just fired the dozer up. I gotta go plow a couple roads into the next landing. It appears I have as much exhaust coming out the grill as I do the flapper up top. So we'll add that to the list of things to do someday. I'm gonna guess exhaust manifold gaskets or the manifold itself because it clears up once it warms up. Once it warms up, all the smoke will end up coming out the exhaust.
I just got the machine brushed off. Waiting for Chris to get here with his low boy so we can move this machine back to the shop. In the winter we get a bunch of snow and sticks and all sorts of stuff up top. I should have taken a before shot, but it's a couple feet deep, which will put us way over height. And I don't like spreading stuff down the road, so cleaned it up a bit. The rest will froze on there. It's froze on there pretty good, so we'll leave it and let it ride till the shop. I'm just down here waiting on the low boy. This is our logging road, so probably half a mile up. We're logging both sides of the road right now. Previous to that, two winters ago, we were logging the private on both sides of the road. And that right there is Hans Peak. It's a dormant volcano. Pretty cool country up here. <laughs> 